Hi everyone! Today um, we are going to make a line monster. After reading Monster Trouble for some inspiration and looking at the wonderful monsters in the book that Michael Robertson drew, the illustrator, um, we are going to create a monster of our own and then we're going to fill it with certain different kinds of lines, okay? So we're going to use shapes to draw our monster. We're going to be thinking about straight lines. We're going to be thinking about curved lines, wavy lines, zigzag lines, dotted lines, spiral, scallop lines, and dashed lines, okay? So, um, because you're at home, we're going to be using notebook paper, a pencil, and some crayons, and that's it, okay? Um, if you don't have notebook paper at home, printer paper works great too, okay? So, um, we're gonna start by drawing our monster using shapes, okay? Um, I'm going to be using a crayon just so that you can see what I'm doing on the video, um, but you can start with pencil if you like, okay? I'm gonna start for, with my monster's head, and I'm gonna draw a great big triangle like that. I want my shapes to be kind of big because I would like to be able to um, fill them with lines like this guy later, okay? Then I'm going to draw two monster horns, the kind of curvy triangles like this. Okay, I'm gonna give my, mon my monster some crazy hair. Okay, two circles for my monster's eyes with circles in them, circles and circles. And some cool eyelashes. And then I'm gonna give my monster a triangle nose and a great big double smile, okay? For my monster's body, I'm going to draw a square or maybe even a rectangle just a little bit long because remember, we're using our shapes and we want big spaces like in this one that we can fill with lines. Then two rectangles for the arms with some triangles for the monster's hands. A rectangle over here for the other arm with some triangles for my monster's hands. Two rectangles here for the legs of my monster. I'm gonna put a half a circle here and a line across for the foot. A half a circle here and a line across for the other foot. And I'm going to draw a nice monster tail with some dinosaur kind of looking scales coming down the back like that. Okay, so my monster's all set, and now I wanna think about what kind of lines do I wanna fill it with, okay? So I'm gonna start on the tummy of my monster, and I'm going to draw a nice little scalloped line, okay? A scalloped line is like drawing a U and a U and a U and a U. I like this for the, my monster's tummy because it looks kind of like she has scales, okay? Then I'm going to think about the arms. What kind of line do I want to put on there? And I really like this spiral line. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a spiral line and I am going to do it by making a loop and 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 a loop. And then on the other arm, a loop and 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 a loop, okay? Then my monster's face I'm thinking um, for my monster's face, I'm going to do some dashed lines. It looks kind of like a road. It's just little lines with spaces in between. I'm gonna jump over the eyes, nose, and mouth and put my lines in there like that. Okay, then these wonderful monster horns, I think I will do a zigzag line. Remember, those are the ones that are a mountain and a mountain and a mountain and a mountain, and a mountain, and a mountain, and a mountain. And then I'm gonna do the other one, a mountain and a mountain, and there we go, okay? Then I need to think about my legs. What kind of lines do I want those to be? And let's do curved lines in those, okay? It's gonna look kind of like a windy road a little bit. I'm gonna do one leg with curved lines, and then the other leg with curved lines like that. And then for the tail, I'm gonna do that castle line or a pumpkin tooth line, okay? Um, it looks kind of like you're drawing the teeth of a pumpkin up over down, up over down, up over down, up over down like that, up 
over, down, and one last little one there. Okay, and then our monster's all done. It's full of lines. And then our last job is going to be choosing colors of crayon to color it in, okay? When you're all done, you can either take a picture of it and send it to Mrs. N, or you can um, just bring it into art class the next time you come. So be creative and have fun with your line monsters. Bye.